Hey everybody, my name is Martin Elfert, and I am an Episcopal priest in Spokane, Washington. And I'm proud to be participating in the Not All Like That project. My story is a little different than many of the stories that you will be hearing insofar as I've only been a Christian for eight or nine years, whereas I've been an ally and an admirer and someone who draws inspiration from my gay and lesbian friends for 20 years, really for my entire adult life. In a lot of ways, I had the mirror image struggle that a lot of Christians have had. I didn't have to reconcile my Christianity with the dawning realization that gays and lesbians were worthy of equality and dignity and respect. I had to reconcile being an ally, being someone who was a big supporter of marriage equality, with the dawning realization that I was called to be a disciple of Jesus. So how did I do it? How did I decide that homosexuality and faith could live together just fine? Well, the Bible told me so. 1 John chapter 4, verse 8. God is love. Super famous words. So famous that we are liable not to really hear them. But I'd like to suggest that if we go back, if we pay attention, if we listen to John with new ears, we will discover that he is saying something mind-blowing. John has put an equal sign between God and love. John has said that God and love are the same thing. Maybe that's a little clearer if we just reverse John's formula. Love is God. I have witnessed the God who is love in so many of my GLBTQ friends, I think in particular of their marriages, of the marriages of Peter and Thomas, of Brian and David, of Katie and Marianne, of Ben and Arthur. The list just keeps going. Over the last number of years, Christians have spent altogether too much time talking about abominations. I'm grateful for this opportunity, grateful to the Not All Like That project to give us an opportunity to talk about something else, to talk about love, and therefore to talk about God. Thank you.